Hey guys, it's Erica. Sorry for being a little quiet. I'm at my cousin's house and I'm not trying to wake everybody in this house up. So hopefully the audio is not going to be too bad, but it should be fine. Um, but yes, hey, welcome to my vlog for Epic High's all-time high tour of 2023. The first concert of 2023. Um, very excited for this. I am going to the Tucson, Arizona show. It is one of the first shows. I don't know what it is about me, but I like to go to an artist's um, first shows. I'm weird. Um, but yes, so pretty much how these work. I do not bring my camera with me. Everything is recorded off my phone. I use an app for these more vlog type setups and then I just use my phone back camera um regular iPhone app for all the concert footage that I record um just so you guys know just so you're aware in case any audio issues or video issues or quality issues or why is it shot this way and stuff so yes I do have VIP tickets very excited because it is GA so I kind of only will do GA if I have like VIP um because at least I'm at the front or at least towards the front. Um, I'm not planning on getting to the venue tomorrow super early because um, most of the times I've shown up around like two or something or three. I was thinking maybe five. I don't know. It's There's like no K-pop shows in Tucson so we don't know how um, the crowd is going to be how many people may be like camping out it's also on a monday so there's other like businesses so um but yeah i'm i'm very excited i've been wanting to see epic high for like the last five years i've been trying to go to a concert when i was an exchange student in korea i really really wanted to go to their show out there um and then when they did their last tour i had tickets for vip for um Epic High is here tour uh, for Las Vegas and so I was going to do Epic High in Vegas and then BTS in Vegas. Unfortunately, it did not get work out that way. Um, but yes, so um, that's it. I guess we will go ahead and I will see you guys later. Bye for now. Hey guys, it's Erica. We are all ready for the concert. Here's the makeup. Here's the outfit. I have this black and white top from Forever 21. These are actually called parachute pants, I think, from Hollister. I got them specifically for this because they are like an off-white and it's gonna, they will, they're gonna get ruined in like two wears. Um, and then I have my Doc Martens on as well so yes i'm also bringing my jacket this core limited one with the dragons their work jacket oh gosh this <laughs> my cousin's blanket is very linty um but yeah because it's like low 60s right now but it, the temperature drops at night it's going to be like freezing cold by the time we get out of there since they are doing the vip stuff after the concert i'm not going to record any of that because it's like well, yeah, I don't think they really let you record any, like, VIP stuff, but, yes, I'm gonna go head over there now, because the, the Rialto is, in, like, downtown Tucson, and there's free parking on the street after five, so hopefully I can do that and not have to pay for parking, um, but, yes, I'm gonna go get some food and head over to the venue, and then it'll probably go straight into concert footage so i hope you guys enjoy the little concert um montage that i put up for you guys i've been listening to the set list for like um i don't know like the last week or so so i'm very familiar with all the songs they're performing if it's the same at every show um but i am so excited i cannot wait to finally see epic high hey,
I like rainy days, personally. There is one reason I like rainy days. There are many. But I've always liked rainy days. And the biggest reason, I think, is after a few days of rain, the sky is much clearer, even at night. And the stars that weren't visible before are more visible after days of rain or even a storm.
Ladies and gentlemen, keep Trump shit.
Hey guys, it's Erica. It's after the concert. I am back at my cousin's house and let me just say, epic high, alive, amazing, amazing. Like they, it's like such an amazing concert. Like it's hard to explain. Like it's almost therapeutic in a way because it's like you get to hear like no thanks you get to hear born here to reach for these awesome songs that you just it's just a rap concert you know what i mean but then you get like the eyes nose lips is on the set list you get like um a rain song so yeah but they, it's, it's so therapeutic in a way to when you get to sing the the epic high sad songs but then you also get to have fun and then you get to like what what is it like new beautiful and stuff like that like there's something that is just so therapeutic about it in a way that i i i don't know i'll always cherish this concert for that reason because like with other concerts sometimes it's like therapeutic to sing certain songs you know what i mean um that are like <laughs> like i don't know they're just like an urge to be just like i want to sing the song live but with like epic high like the whole thing is like therapeutic of course you get a little bit of a comedy show um but yeah i think i think it was amazing um being that close to the front like dead in the center i thought was like really really great there was not really a bad seat in that or bad it was ga so a bad spot for that um place um because they also have like an arched floor or like a, a sloped floor, arch floor, what am I talking about? An arch floor, so even if you were further back in GA, you could still see the stage and them. Um, so yeah, the, I have the VIP lanyard right here. Um, we I'll, I'll show everything probably again in a minute for you guys when I get back home. And then you get a signed Epic Highs Here poster. And then I ordered my merch online. Um so that i wouldn't have to wait in line even though i could have just went after whatever too late i could have saved money um didn't think it through uh but yeah and then they gave out these um as per the little signs for every show it says epic highs here and it's for the all-time all high tour but they misspelled this one because it says some needy and it's supposed to be some nida we all know the right ending to it and so it was kind of funny because tablet i it's in the it's in the video you know what i mean you guys see it um but yes i thought it was absolutely amazing epic high all-time high tour i'm like i mean i mean come on like it was so like if you've been you already know and they're just like so much fun because you get to jump around you get to go crazy scream at the top of your lungs everything about it was just so i don't know it was like therapy for me i think i might have to go to another show to, to, <laughs> for once a week for a therapy session maybe not but for now it was it was everything i ever needed it to be so thank you epic high hey guys it's erica i just got back home um, from Tucson, um, had a nice trip. I stayed an extra day just to hang out with my family. So it's like, I'm not just using it for my concert. You know what I mean? Even though it kind of was, but it was nice to spend time with my family. Can we, I think we'll put it under BTS. I think that's the best place for it. But yes, love the show. Um, the set list that I listened to was, I think, from one of the European shows. So, but I, I created my own set list and it's public on Spotify, um, of all of it. I don't know what they changed it per show because um, the one that I looked at had one minute, one second and love, love, love. Even though they didn't perform those, they did uh, Usan, Umbrella. They performed that one and that's the only sort of change they made So um, to the playlist I was listening to. But I've also checked out other playlists like for DPR and they didn't have... Um, uh, know Me or something like that on it. So I just like made my own. But... Um, yeah, that's what I got from the concert. It was amazing. Again, it felt like therapy. Like, it was very therapeutic to just be in that environment, to listen to the songs, to jump around, um, to be singing along like that. Like, there's just something about epic high songs and they have like an amazing discography and honestly i think really the best for the concert because they have the really hype 
a beat song that you can just like jump or dance to but then they have like the really good like rapping songs that are just like uh, you know what i mean but then they have like their more slower songs that you can cry while you sing to you know what i mean so i think it's a really great combination of everything i had an amazing time i hope that the other groups will continue to come closer maybe to new mexico where i live or even like tucson and stuff like that or maybe i should you know what first i should probably go to concerts that are closer and not have to travel so much um but sometimes i'm not the only person going with myself um so yes but it was an amazing time i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog um and I hope you enjoyed the little peep of the concert footage that I did give to you guys. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. What it'll be. It's not going to be sugar. Well, I'd have to get resale tickets for sugar because I didn't get that access code. Um, but, yeah, maybe it'll be Kong Daniel and Dreamcatcher next if we can't get August D tickets. So, oops. Sorry about that. I almost dropped you. But, yes, that is it. So, if you liked this video, give this video a thumbs up if you liked me. And you want to see more of my videos, some reactions, or concert vlogs, Hit that subscribe button if you want to see my videos the second they come out. Hit that notification button if you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, or description down below or at the end screen you share this video to your friends. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Love you, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Uh, who needs a metaverse? Yo, it's a meta curse. Digging a meta dirt to put you in a meta hearse. I never met a verse that I didn't slay. What? Bars. I gotta get out of this room. I need help. Fuck a zoom, I need IRL. Sorry, I can't talk right now. With all